Kashmir. There is a one mythical story about Kashmir. The name of Kashmir came from Hazrat Suleiman al Islam, the Prophet of Allah, was flying over this valley and he saw the blue water under. As a prophet, he knew that there is something there. So he came down on the peak, one peak, and asked from the creatures. Allah had given him, you know, the government over the a lot of other creatures as well. He asked that is there someone who can remove this blue water? It was a big lake, a sea kind of lake, a lot of water. So there was uh, one jinn. His name was Kash. Kash raised the hand that, yes sir, I can do it. But I have a little request. It can be accepted. Was being asked and he said, there is uh, one pari. Her name is Meer. If I get a chance to marry her was granted, accepted, no cash and mir. Allah's powers with that jinn in the wink of eye, he removed that blue water and a valley appeared named cash mir. It, it is a myth as I earlier said, but how beautiful you can just try to get it that uh, such a beautiful valley, such a beautiful, you know, a mythical story behind. And when we see the historical background, Kashmir has remained a sovereign state. It never remained under the government of any other part of the world, any other government of the world. Partition, Hindustan, Pakistan, and in the partition, the formula was this, that majority of Hindus will be added to Hindustan and the majority of Muslims areas will be given to Pakistan. And here this formula as it worked was the sad part of the history. Kashmir where more than 95% of the population was Muslim was left unsolved. The Raja of Kashmir of that time reigned to India for the affiliation. But very interestingly, affiliation on the basis of this, that, that sovereignty would not be harmed. It would not be the part of India. They will have their own legislation. They will have their own political powers. But unfortunately, the things happen, we know from the history. A time when Qaidiyas of Muhammad Ali Jinnah ordered the tribal brothers to support the freedom fighters of Kashmir and they said, look back to the order of Qaidiyas of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Let me share that this is somehow many times most of us do not know that who went to United Nations first. Mostly we think that Pakistan went to United Nations first. But let me clear that India went to United Nations first. On this point that the fight is going on and Pakistan has attacked in Kashmir. Here I always say and I feel sad about it as well that we had to trust United Nations and the fight was stopped on these remarks, on this promise that the matter of Kashmir, the conflict of Kashmir, the dispute of Kashmir would be solved according to the United Nations resolutions, according to the wishes of Kashmiris. And these resolutions were being passed again and again but no implementation. Which is really the saddest part here where the trust in UN has got, you know, vibrated 
majority of the people who know such kind of conflicts in the world they see that kind of approach of un where they have nothing to do about the no hurries about the implementation well fight for freedom struggle for freedom efforts for freedom could not stop kashmiris whatever the barbarian acts by the indian army army continues where we see that on every 10 kashmiris there is a soldier the complete valley is being militarized women women being raped youth being kidnapped and such kind of conditions are there that we call them the groups of oppressors oppressed by the kash indian army indian forces but after all still you find them with the one voice which makes us understand the topic of today that why kashmir is our lifeline just try to imagine that if such kind of terrorism such kind of extremism is being faced but after this all kashmiris have one voice and that is affiliation with pakistan that is something still they raise the flag of pakistan they are being kidnapped tortured but they have the one voice they want to have pakistan so it becomes not only a national duty but a moral obligation that when our kashmiri brethren are looking for our support our help so we definitely become more responsible towards them the current conditions the abolishment of article 37035a which gives the right to the kashmiris of their own land of their own decision making and it stops the outsiders to come there and get the nationality or become the part of that land resident of that land it is being done by india 105 days before and the curfew started many times you know a thing is being asked that india did it and i always say if something is under your occupation if something is under your power 370 35a or any other articles or the laws you may abolish you may even establish you may create because when something is under your power you can do whatever you like but the matter is again that the world knows this thing now that when people do not accept it nobody can make them accept that they should be doing that whatever is being imposed so in these conditions they say sometime a friend of mine wrote one blog in the sabre sale and at that time i could not understand it that what he wants to say the title was blessing this guys so i asked the journal sir how this curfew and this all is you know a blessing this guys he explained to me he said sometime such kind of decisions are being taken they have very very different consequences very very serious consequences and this is one of the thing india has done at this time modi has done at this time that they are trying to implement that hindutva philosophy that philosophy of rss that extremist group of india which has hijacked the secular powers secular practices of india and it is going to be very dangerous for india and the world 
is seeing right now that how a conflict, a dispute, a matter which was being called a local matter, diplomatically, internationally, India ran the campaign like it is being disclosed. Yesterday I was discussing with Abbasi Sahib as well that nearly 300 organizations, websites are being highlighted that are working on the campaign just to tell this thing that Kashmir is part of India morally, legally and Pakistan is a country where there is extremism and terrorism. Now you can see in such kind of conditions where you are facing fifth generation warfare, technological warfare different than conventional warfare where we see that the arm armies are coming, forces are coming. We do not see them and things are happening in such a way that we are getting disturbed politically, economically, socially, mentally and these all things finally can disturb us as a nation. A localized matter which was being taken as a local matter became international matter within these hundred plus days. Blessing in disguise. Yes, whatever the terrorism, extremism, torture is being delivered by India. On the other hand side, it has made world understand that this conflict is not only a dispute between two countries called Pakistan and India, but it is an international responsibility. It is a humanitarian matter. It is no more a matter which is a problem of two countries. And bringing it, making it as international matter, I would say that somehow definitely the struggle of our Kashmiri brothers and the other hand side it is your solid kind of strength standing Pakistani nation with Kashmiri brothers have made it an international cause, has made it a matter I do accept here which was not even being taken that much seriously by our previous regimes. So, well, they say no do their I At this stage, at least now, the situation is this, that the world has started discussing it. American Congress is discussing it. You find it, the articles in the Telegraph, Guardian, Times, and in all other national, international, well-recognized newspapers. International journals are having a lot of, you know, research on these things that what happened in the past, what is happening recently and what should be the solution for the matter of Kashmir. Here let me clear the stance of Pakistan. The stance of Pakistan on Kashmir is very much clear, very much transparent and very much solid, starting with the saying of father of the nation, Kaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, that Kashmir is juggler when of Pakistan. Definitely, when you call it that something is the lifeline, it means a lot. It means that if anybody harms it, it harms you, it harms me. If anybody attacks it, it attacks you, it attacks me. If anybody does anything to it, it is just like happening to my family, it is just like happening to your family. And at this stage, the stance of Pakistan is very much clear. We got a tweet. <laughs> by ISPR, the first tweet said, we can go to any length for Kashmir. 
my honorable faculty members, the teachers of communication skills can understand the power of the sentence, we can go to any land for Kashmir. And after a few days, another statement came which said, we will go to any land for Kashmir. No can and will. You can see the strength. You can try to understand it. When it says we will go to any land for Kashmir, it means that no doubt we are a peaceful nation. We are a nation believe in dialogue. We are the nation keep trying, keep struggling, keep highlighting, keep telling, keep requesting that please solve the matter of Kashmir. There is no any second option. You have to solve the matter of Kashmir. And it is also being clear, being a nation having very strong reasoning faculty. Having a nation knows how to use the brain. A nation which has a rational approach. You must not forget that we are also humans with very strong emotions for Kashmir. We have such kind of linkage, connectivity, relationship which cannot be defined in words. We have religious affiliations with Kashmir. We have historical relationship with Kashmir. We have the blood relationship with Kashmir. We have spiritual relationship with Kashmir. And as I said earlier, we do not have the words to explain that how much important Kashmir is for us. And finally, when it is being declared that we will go to any land for Kashmir, it means definitely we will continue the dialogue, we will continuously take part whether it is United Nations, it is European Union, it is any other platform talks about the humanitarian matters, talks about the human rights. But finally, we are not going to stay behind physically either. We are very much well prepared and we stand with the stance of our state. In any kind of need, in any kind of call, we stand with the state, as I said earlier, mentally and physically. And this time, this conflict of Kashmir is not going to get cooled down. This needs a solution now. As the Prime Minister spoke in United Nations very clearly, that now the Kashmir conflict, the Kashmir con dispute is not going to cool down without any solution. We are going to put our all efforts, we are going to utilize our all energies, we are going to use our all sources and resources to find the solutions for the Kashmiris. Possible solutions, very simple. When we talk about the solutions for Kashmir, the first solution and the only solution is referendum. The implementation of resolutions passed on Kashmir and all the resolutions say the same thing, let Kashmiris decide what do they want. Do they want the continuous oppression under the suppression, under the terrorism of Hindutva philosophy followers? Do they want to join their Pakistani 
family, or even they want an independence. Now this is the right of Kashmiris. This is something what has to be done according to the wishes of Kashmiris. And it's not very difficult to understand it. Pakistan is always in this support that let the resolutions implement and the solution is first of all remove the Indian forces from Kashmir, bring the forces of peace forces of United Nations. When they go when they can go to Mogadishu, Bosnia, Kosovo and the other parts of the world as the peace forces, then why not in Kashmir? They should come, take over and conduct the plebiscite, conduct the referendum and decide according to the wishes of Kashmiris. End of Indian operation and the freedom for the Kashmiri indigenous people. This is what it is. And when it comes about Pakistan, I clear that what is the stance of Pakistan, what are the emotions and feelings of Pakistan. Since the curfew started, we have been working on this Kashmir issue for a long time now, having hundreds of seminars, conferences, dialogue with the youth all over the country. And even whenever getting chance to travel abroad, keep it on the top matters to at least, you know, share with the international community that how Kashmiris are suffering and why do Kashmiris need freedom and definitely the stance of motherland that how do Pakistan supports this cause. At this stage, it has to be understood that we all together have some responsibility as the youngsters, as the academia, as the people who are better lot of the nations, intellectuals. Together we have to take part very actively, peacefully and actively to promote the Kashmir cause. Here, how the intellectuals, academia can participate, it is to at least once a week talk about Kashmir, at least discuss with our cadets, with our youths, that how important the Kashmir issue is. Let it have the historical background that how Kashmir was, how Kashmir remains, and how Kashmir is. Let them have the open understanding of the importance of Kashmir for Pakistan. Because this thing will definitely bring them that kind of stream that they will understand that how much Kashmir is on all other things keeping apart, how much Kashmir is important for us. Now when we talk about the youth cadets, I would suggest you that kindly try to make your use of technology really like I was listening to the words of one of our principal, idealized. The way you can utilize it, it can really bring us the remarkable results. How constructively, productively, positively you use it, I can assure you that you can contribute at the big level. When I said earlier that India's more than nearly 300 websites are being taught, who had only one word that they were trying to just show that Pakistan is not a suitable country, and Kashmir cause is just not a cause at all. So you can call it, as earlier I said, we give it the term fifth generation warfare. The warfare of mindset. Like through media, when you turn on the TV, 
and you listen for 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you listen again and again, again and again. One thing that after 30 minutes, you start accepting it. You become acceptor in such a way that you start thinking that yes, whatever is being told 30 times, there must be something truthfulness in it. Why? A lot of things shared in the social media, they may not be authentic. They may not be correct. Like many times it comes that kindly do verify anything you are sharing before sharing. So, no kind of panic can be created. And whatever the mind of enemy is there should succeed in whatever the vision they are having. How you can participate, you may have the limited approach to internet, but I guess everyone must be the social media user. Everybody must have an account on the Facebook. Do you all have? Yes, sir. Awaz mein dam nahi, kuch nahi batana chale. Do you all have it? Yes, sir. Right. It means that you have two or three things to come from here. Okay. So now this is the one thing. Facebook, you have Instagram, you have Twitter, right? You have many other social media channels where apart from your recreation, apart from your entertainment, apart from your connectivity, communication, one thing you have to just attach it with your brain, that kindly take it as a tool, as a war tool. When you are in the battlefield, you must have your weapons. You are a great soldier, but if you don't know how to use a weapon, and if you do not have a weapon, it means you are just standing in front of death. Religiously, we are being taught to prepare our horses. At that time, horses were needed. At this time, the norms are saying, technologically, we are saying, we are upgraded. So we have to prepare accordingly. And here, what you have to do, as I said, you have to be mentally very much attentive. You have to counter your enemy strongly and even strongly in such a way that the world can get one conviction, the world can be convinced on this point that they can raise their voice and they can create the heat to find, make the UN understand and accept that Kashmir must have a solution. You can at least give a tweet whenever you have an approach, whenever you have the availability of internet. You can give one status talking about whatever is going on in Kashmir. You can upload one photograph where our sisters, our mothers, our brothers are being tortured in Kashmir. You may share one poster like in one of the houses, I saw a poster with a lovely poetry. There was a cadet Shiraz. Can you raise your hand wherever you are? Yes? So this is the second thing you can do. <coughs> Number one, through the social media, use social media as your weapon. And connect it with your brain. Do not get emotional. <coughs> As I earlier said, wherever the emotions will be needed, you will understand, you will be shared by the state. Because our emotions and are all those emotions where motherland needs us, they only and only stand with the state. And on the other hand side, wherever our rational approaches are there, our brain is there, we have to become an intelligent user of social media. We have to work hard to speak about Kashmir. We must have a little study on Kashmir. We must know about the current situation going on in Kashmir. And we must 
tell the international community. You people use social media. Everyone must have some friends from other country. Some have more, others have less. In such a way, so your message would be going internationally. In such a good manners, that world should feel that Pakistani youth is an educated youth, which talks about the matters quite intelligently and effectively. You find some people there, even we do not know they are Pakistani or who they are. As I earlier said, the fifth generation warfare is a thing where the enemy can just give one status, for example, on Facebook, with some abusive language against themselves, telling that, oh, it is like this. And then you see hundreds of, you know, abusive remarks in the comment box. You have to be very clever. You have to be very intelligent here. You are not going to take part in any kind of such unethical debate, unethical kind of statements, comments. Because we live with one identity. And that identity is Pakistan. And we are not only responsible to our families, we are not responsible to only our institutions, but we are responsible to the identity which carry with us, that is Pakistan. And anything we speak <coughs> below the standards of motherland is counted as disrespect to the motherland. And I am very much sure, I am very much proud, I have a great confidence that our youth is well aware with this thing that how to protect their identity, how to respect their identity, how to honor their identity, and how to bring the identity as an international honor for us all. So you have to definitely take part, you have to counter such kind of narratives, and on the other hand side, you have to show your practices, you have to show your upbringing, you have to show your identity, you have to show what is being taught by the leaders from your religion. You have to show this thing and you don't have to show only, but you have to prove yourself that yes, we Pakistani are not only Pakistani who definitely are the believers, we are the people who live with the two nation theory, but we are the people who definitely respect the world. We are the people who are the peace builders in the world. We are the people who have given hundreds of thousands shahadats, lives for the peace of the world. Let me repeat it again and try to think about it. We have sacrificed for the peace of the world. And when, when, when we can sacrifice for the peace of the world on the war, against terrorism and impose war against terrorism, then definitely we are well prepared for any kind of war being imposed on us or definitely whenever and wherever in any case we are needed by our state, in case we are needed by our motherland. So, the cadets, I have great, great hopes from you that whatever you are understanding must take it very seriously. Try to think upon it. And let me tell you, you all, each one of you, you are the ambassadors of Kashmir. Each one of you, you are the ambassadors of Pakistan. Each one of you is a leader of Pakistan. Each one of you is having an obligation that when you go for the PLE, CLE, whatever, the term you are using for the off-timing holidays, whatever areas you belong to, kindly try to conduct such kind of gathering. And tell the people of your villages, tell the people of your area, whatever we are discussing. Bring them in the mainstream. Bring them up. Let them understand that how Pakistan is growing and what is the narrative of Pakistan on Kashmir and how do and how we can participate, 
how we can add our own values, how we can add our own services for the mother. Thank you very much. Question answer. So this is Kader Talamudara. As you said that referendum is the only solution for the Kashmir. And you also said that that referendum should be held under the supervision of UN forces. UN forces which have been converted into UNA, United Nations of America. Do you really think that that referendum will be transparent? Thank you. Thank you. Please have a seat. As I earlier mentioned, I will try to elaborate it in little better manners. We are a peaceful nation and we have to continue this peace for the prosperity of Pakistan. Whatever the past has seen, we have to learn from those and we have to work for a stronger, peaceful and prosperous motherland. And I agree with you, these are the words, publicly I have said many times this statement, you and all to UNA, the journey of you and all to UNA, United Nations Organization to United Nations of America, yes. I shared last one at Kedifal Latana when I was speaking that uh, an officer from British Army from Scotland, he went there in Iraq, was my friend, came back, we were sitting, I asked him, I said, officer, how was it? He said, bro, nothing was there. I asked him, did you find any weapons of mass destruction? He said, for God's sake, no weapons of mass destruction, nothing like that. This is, I'm talking about within the year of war. The things were disclosed after a long time. <coughs> but the same UNO, did not permit America to go to war, they went to war. They could not do anything, even after that. So, you can see that how neutral they are. But on the other hand side, as I said, the time is time of intelligence. Brain game. Many things, many things you may not do with the direct weapon. Many times you need many Qatar posts. <laughs> On the other hand side, definitely, no doubt at all, we are not saying that we are expecting the quick justice from UNO, but when the world will stand with you, let's leave the religion aside, leave ethnicities on a side and let's make it an international humanitarian cause. Kashmiris are human beings first of all. We will make it even a stronger international cause that they deserve justice on the basis of humanity and we will work hard for that. While earlier as I said I would repeat, whatever the decision of state would be there. We are always there with the state. We are standing with our armed forces. We are standing with our think tanks. We are standing with those are decision makers who have to decide what to do next. But whatever is in our own approach, whatever is in our own control, whatever we can practice, we must do it. Thank you. I am a PhD scholar. I have many questions and suggestions, sir. Sir, first one question is, 
This quantitative research was done through analysis of printed and written, written documents in the form of published but yet no development. What is the reason behind it? About uh, this current issues. May you repeat the question kindly, <laughs> sir? This qualitative research was done through analysis of printed, printed and written documents in the form of published but yet no development. Excellent. What is the reason behind it? Sir, sir. Now, as I mentioned uh, uh, one sentence earlier when I was speaking about it, that the past a uh, kind of horrible past where we did not practice, as you said, we had a lot of articles published nationally, internationally. Our researchers contribute at amazing levels from all the best universities of Pakistan. But practically, unluckily, unfortunately, we had such kind of leadership heading this Kashmir cause I do not want to name anything here, but you know very well, they did not contribute anything. Even, I say, rather than contributing, they made this Kashmir issue go decline. So practically, we had really no development. And as I said, as much seriously it is being taken a few months back, a year back, if it had been taken, as you just asked, so till now, Kashmir would have got something. Next question, please. The conflict has contributed to the heaping of uh, mistrust between these two nuclear armed countries. It is this correct? We will fight with the uh, Indian and we will win the, this war. Thank you, sir. Now, the mistress, the mistress between India and Pakistan is like this. I give you one personal example. We were at the Serena Hotel Islamabad, and uh, during the one national day of one country, I came across the military attaché of India. We were talking about it. So I said, officer, problems are from the both sides. And he got very angry, aggressive very quickly. No, it's not from the both sides, it's from Pakistan side. So, as you said, we have that matter of trust from the beginning. And definitely, whatever has been going on, it cannot be changed in days. It will definitely take time. When he talks about the both nuclear power and the war, War is no good for the world, whether it is Pakistan, India, it is North Korea or the South Korea, it is any other country of the world. We have the examples of Africa. They don't have clothes to wear, but they have guns to fight. We have the examples of Libya, we have the examples of Iraq, Syria, how people are suffering, how humanity is suffering. Now when we talk about Pakistan and India, let me clear one thing that may God forbid that any kind of projection, any kind of advancement happen from any country as the Prime Minister also shared in his one of these speech that if something happened the world must realize it is not going to be the war between Pakistan and India. The world is going to see the third world war, which can destroy the world even in the worst manners if you remember the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So may God forbid, as I said, that it should not happen. It is not the solution. And whatever the Pakistan is demanding at this stage, you are a researcher, you can understand that very rational approach is being used. That let them please decide. Let them have their own land. Who are you to say that stay under our oppression? Sir, next please. Sir, my name is Mudra Farali, I am Ming Sector. Sir, I have assimilated all the points that you have shared with us. And now my question is, do we have any other option? 
like you have just told us misadvantages of war and we are hopeless from United Nations. We have been to fifth generation war as well. So what options are we left with? Thank you, sir. I already mentioned the biggest option, the option of dialogue. The option of whatever the platforms we have available to highlight. We have the artists, please make the art, make the drawings and share it wherever you can. You are the writers, kindly write down as much you can write and highlight the matters. You are the poets, kindly do write the poetry and highlight it. You are the people who are connected with the other youth of the country, please do discuss with them and tell them what is going on. Create the pressure. The world has gone globalized. I can sit here and within few seconds I can speak to the person sitting in America. There was a time I used to write a letter to my cousin who was serving at the Shamjodiya. The letter used to go in 14 days, 15 days week, then 15 days to come. After one month we used to listen that he is being posted somewhere. The world has changed, the dynamics of the world has changed. Technologies have made this world very close. And what we can do, we can use all the available resources to create that pressure. If, for example, I give you my example, wherever any country I go, even I'm going to speak about the peace, I give it the connectivity with Kashmir. I go to speak on education, I give the connectivity with Kashmir. I speak about life skills, I bring the Kashmir. I'm talking, you give me any topic, you tell me to talk about anti-narcotics, I'll bring the Kashmir. So, it... I give you another example, a friend of mine, he was doing a work course in China. So he said when I reached there, I found that you know every time a projection is being given that Pakistan is this, Pakistan is this. He said I have to work on the perception and changing the perception of the officers of that level, it is even a little harder coming from different backgrounds, different countries. He said, I openly offered that I am available to help in the preparation of presentations of every officer. He said it was a big kind of offer that, you know, because everybody likes to roam around after attending the class, let's find some time and go out. Everybody got a person, an RA, an associate who can help out in the research and making present. He said that through that opportunity, I got a chance to inculcate and bring the perception of Pakistan. I used to bring something relevant in such a way that, for example, if it is about the nature, I used to pick up the photographs of northern areas and show that the beauty of nature. They used to talk about the deserts. I used to bring Tharparkar to show that how beautiful green, lush green, you know, desert we have. They used to talk about the spirituality. I used to bring Shah Latif and such as others that how great the sense we have. This is the way how do you have to intelligently work for working on the perception of the world and making them understand that what the real picture of Pakistan is. This is what the real Pakistan is, how we can do it. While on the other hand side, definitely I always say and I always promote this thing that war is not the solution. But it doesn't mean that I do not know how to use the weapon. It doesn't mean that I am not courageous enough to stand if I am being attacked. It doesn't mean that when the matter comes, state needs me and I would say that no peace is the only solution. As again I am repeating that there are few things that are in our control. They are legally, according to the laws of motherland, they are not in our power. We have to follow for them. While whatever is in our hand, whatever we are free to do, we must contribute by doing that. And second thing, sorry, the third thing, prayers. We are the believers, we believe that prayers can definitely bring the great changes. After that all, whatever the contribution and then pray from the Lord Almighty that there should be freedom for the Kashmiris, there should be freedom for the Palestinians, there should be peace in the world.
Thank you. Next, please. I guess, uh, please, you may ask, but cadets should have also the chance, so they may have any questions. Please. This is Kerala Bess Ahmed. Um, I asked a question from you in Narcana as well, so I have got two more questions, so I asked only one as well. So my question is, as we talked about DGI Spears tweet, he said that we can and we will go to uh, Kashmiri land. And you translated his tweet uh, in, the, uh, in the way of negotiations. But when our foreign minister, Shamim Krishi, was asked, like, will you go to India for negotiations, regarding Kashmir, he was like, do you really expect me to go to the Indians and negotiate regarding Kashmiris after they have violated all the human rights of Kashmiris? So for me, that's only my personal opinion. I think that we are done with the negotiations. Now our army should take the weapon as our Prime Minister Imran Khan said as well in his speech. Like, if my sister is being raped, obviously I'll take the gun out and I'll try to uh, I, I, I try to defend my, uh, my, my, my family. So the thing is, what I, do, uh, what I think is, I think we should, our army should stand up and go to the uh, borders and we should defend uh, Kashmir because they want our help and they have always raised a slogan like Pakistan Zindabad, Pakistan Army Zindabad and they have shown the world that we want to join Pakistan. So what's your verdict on it? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, now one about the communication. Communication skills are very special kind of things, you know. The one statement, one sentence can be utilized, can be used for 100 ways. One side it can give a peaceful gesture. Other side it can give you, you know, a kind of threat as well. Third side it may say like, you know, you may use this. Hear that, Tanazur may say, not in the context is being understood. So, well, my dear, that is another thing, that is called the politics, that is called the communication. Many times, many things are understood as we like to understand it, or as we like to make others understand it. While talking about that army, the use of army at this stage, let me tell you we have a very, very strong trust in our army. And as an honor, we say that we have the only best institution on which each one of us can trust and each one of us can believe that definitely how professional they are, how professionally well trained they are, how professionally committed they are, how professionally prepared they are and every time they are ready for us all. <coughs> On the matter of Kashmir, many wars are not being fought with the emotions only. Yes, my emotions say, let's start the war against India and get the Kashmiri brethren free. These are my personal emotions. You may have the same as you asked the question. But on the other hand side, we have to understand many things. We have to understand the position of economical position of the country, that in what crisis we are going on and in such kind of crisis, how intelligently we have to take the decision. We have to understand that if we can work strategically, like I already added before, if we can welcome our Sikh brothers through the Qatar port, so one side of the border we can be little relaxed. And the same way, definitely, many other things are going on as well. But believe me, let me assure you this thing, whenever, whenever, whether it is today or tomorrow, it is being felt that my forces, our forces are needed to advance, you will not listen any kind of argumentation from anywhere. They'll do it. But as I said, professionally, it is them who have to decide when is the advancement needed. And as earlier I said, each one of us, it is me and you, we stand with our forces very strongly. In whatever capacities we are being needed, 
we will stand with them but this thing has to be decided at the right time and again as i said it is not a solution but it cannot be taken as cowardness it cannot be taken as delayed tactic we are well prepared our soldiers do not sleep for 10 hours our soldiers they are under training throughout and let me share with you the last 15 days as much our soldiers have practiced in the war against terror one soldier has served equal to four soldiers one soldier has done the duty of four soldiers that kind of tough practices have been followed many of the soldiers have seen the tough area we call the tough area like waziristan wanan once twice and thrice we have again given a lot of sacrifices we are prepared and better than any other country right now when you talk about the definitely war but it has to be do pray again it should not and second thing whenever it would be needed you will definitely see the right time and the right decision next please sir i am farhan kulaji and uh, my question is that when prime minister imran khan went to america for official visit then president donald trump said that he will become a mediator in your opinion is he trying to solve this problem or he is showing to the whole world that he is a mediator thank you sir um uh, as student of international relations i learned from people like abbasi sir and many other senior scholars saying and doing very different things just let's understand it you are the person who buy everything from my shop to survive right and i just you want to transfer to any other city and i quickly help you that please transfer and i'm getting profit like 2 lakh rupees per month from you do you believe it that i do you help you no i wouldn't help you because i have great interest in you i am earning money from you the world biggest seller of weapons it says and the biggest purchaser of american weapons india and mr trump says that you know i saw your matter come and sit down here i don't know but i feel it as a big joke you know i'm hoping that let's do it no, not at all how it can be and if there was any kind of serious approach till now he would have you know called both of the people from pakistan and india and made them said that and as i said earlier the pakistan stands the world no one can deny it all because pakistan is saying very simple thing that kindly resolve the matter of kashmir according to the resolutions of united nations so do not trust or do not even take him seriously he is not to be taken very seriously thank you next please sir my name is shayan ahmed my question is uh, as you know that uh, the kashmir the india has abolished the 375 article and 35a do you know that do you think that we must hope that we will get kashmir do you think i want an invasion from you could you repeat invasion sir do you really think that we will get kashmir in spite you know that that india has abolished the 375 article i want an invasion from you Thank a prediction you. from you <laughs> अब देखिए आपका कंट्रोल है फॉर एग्जांपल इट इज योर कैडेट कॉलेज प्रिंसिपल प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सलीम चौधरी साहब इज द हेड ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन प्रिंसिपल साहब जो हैं वो प्लान कर लेते हैं कि जी हमने जो है ना हर महीने एक प्रोग्राम करना है एनीबॉडी कैन स्टॉप हिम इस केस द पर्सन इज इन पावर ही इज इन चार्ज ऑफ एवरीथिंग हिंदुस्तान का मसला ये है 
वो चाहे थ्री सेवेंटी वॉलिश कर दे और नया चार सौ जो है वो इम्प्लीमेंट कर दे एक चीज के ऊपर आपने कब्जा किया हुआ दिन को कुछ करे रात को कुछ करे वो नो बड़ी कैन आज की तो जो इंडिया में ये एक उन्होंने काम किया है इसको पत्नी दुनिया इज टेकिन वेरी सीरियसली बट लेट मी टेल यू आई टेक इट वेरी ट्रेजर इन दिस वे कि जब एक चीज पे कब्जा आपका जो मर्जी लॉ इम्प्लीमेंट करते हैं जो मर्जी वॉलिश करते हैं जो मर्जी करते रहे so this thing is very clear that it is a contradicted part of the world this is not something which is called the part of india that they can make the legislation and they can make the rules so i see it in different ways and i feel that somehow as i use the term by the journal that blessing this guys inshallah the world would see the great consequences of this blunder made by india thank you बारगेनिंग and some analysts suggest that we can vote india on the permanent membership of un security council and in uh, in uh, that case we can uh, take kashmir from them and there is another option as well uh, as abdul sattar mentions in his book foreign policy of pakistan from 1947 to 2015 uh, 2004 musharraf formula as musharraf suggested that we can uh, we can divide kashmir in seven portions and some portions should be given to india and some portions should be uh, come in the part of pakistan so other than these two solutions plebiscit and mediation can are we in position to bargain india on any of these issues thank you sir thank you uh see these are the kind of options like you said the musharraf formula or all other the formulas given by the Uh, scholars by the researchers political analysts but as i earlier said that yes india and pakistan must be taken on board without them the matter cannot be solved but to my understanding these formulas can be only applicable if the indigenous kashmiris accept it you have to understand this thing that is just like you know we all are the majority right we all are together and we both stand and make some decision without the understanding without the willingness without you know wishes what the kashmiris are having cannot be possible you have to first of all understand that it is not two party conflict it is the one in which kashmiris are the first pakistan and india are second and third and here i would again say that kashmiris carry 60% you know right to decide and then 20% you can take and 20% india can take and then we can come to if any other formula kashmir is not something you know male ghanimat कि जी ये तुम ले जाओ ये मैं रख लूँ इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल इट ऑल कश्मीरीज हैव सेक्रिफाइस फॉर लास्ट सेवेंटी टू इयर्स बहत्तर साल उन्होंने अपनी बहनों बेटियों की इज्जतें जो है ना वो कुर्बान की हैं बहत्तर साल जो है वो नफ्सियाती मरीज रहे हैं नस्ल दर नस्ल उन्होंने कुर्बानियां दी हैं वो सही तरह सोए नहीं हैं बहत्तर साल तक जो है वो जो कुछ हुआ है आप महसूस करें आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कराची यहाँ से जब आप कभी ट्रैवल किया होगा आपने कराची आज से चार साल पहले तो एक खौफ होता था मोबाइल स्मैच हो जाएगा अल्लाह खैर करे को बारह मई की तरह का वाक्य ना हो जाए पता नहीं जिंदा वापस आएंगे नहीं आएंगे साइकोलॉजिकली आप उस चीज़ को भी आपका क्लियर हो गया बड़े मजे से जाते हैं यू गो एंड नो बड़ इज बॉर्डर ट्रैवल एक फोन नहीं करते अभी पहले हर पाँच मिनट के बाद कॉल आती थी बाबा ठीक आए हो जिंदा आए हो तो जी आए ठीक है the situation takes time on the other hand side when we talk about the kashmiris just think about it and what pains they have gone through believe me 
that when just I speak only for many hours, I am not fit myself. Because those feelings, when you think about them, you know that pain, as a human, you feel crying, you feel like, for God's sake, where the world is sleeping. Why don't they give them the right they definitely deserve? So, definitely many other formulas can be also brought, but the backbone, the main decision makers are those people <coughs> who have to decide and we have to stand with them. Here I would give you one good news. 60% Kashmir, Kashmiris, 20% Pakistan, 20% India. But very strongly what we feel that we are 80% because Kashmiris are internally with us as much internally we are with them. لبنان سر آپ کی ریسرچ آپ کی نالج آپ کی معلومات اس حوالے سے کیا کہتے ہیں کہ کیا کشمیریوں کو بھی مسلمان ہونے کی سزا دی جا رہی ہے تھینک یو ڈاکٹر سر ویری ویری اسٹرانگ اینڈ ویری ویری ویلڈ کوسچن اگر آپ دیکھیں دی ہسٹری آف جینوسائڈ نو ڈاؤٹ ایٹ آل دیٹ دے آر بینگ ڈسکریمنیٹڈ دے آر بینگ ٹارچر دے آر فیسنگ آل دیز تھنگس And the first reason is they are Muslims. The first reason is that they are Muslims and they are Muslims and they are going to be saved. In the Sudan, the problem was that the United Nations went to a different way. The problem was that the East Timur went to a different way and went to a different way and went to a different way. So, the discrimination internationally is going to be done, as the Prime Minister has also said, اور آئی اگری آئی سیکنڈ ٹو ہیم کہ یہ ڈسکرمنیشن آف کرنے پڑے گی اس کو ختم کرنا پڑے گا اسلام is only one اسلام اور ہم جیسے میں نے بولا کہ ام کے لیے جتنی قربانیاں ہم نے دی ہیں اور کنٹینیسلی دے رہے ہیں being a nuclear power جیسے مختلف کے ریٹس نے یہ بات کی اگر ہم صرف اور صرف جذبات کو ساتھ لیتے تو اس ٹائم تک وہ ممالک I'm using the word not ملک ممالک ان کو ہم بڑی اچھی طرح سبق سکھا سکتے تھے کہ this is not fair with us this is not fair with one religion لیکن again I'm giving you know a lot of appreciation تو اور ڈیسیشن میکرز کہ کتنا انہوں نے طریقے سے اس کو ہینڈل کیا ہے اور they are using the platforms to come on this point اور وہ لوگ جو کہ these are the people who are great pictures آپ کا اس ٹائم ٹرکش جو پرم نیسٹر ہے آپ کے ملیشین مہاتیر محمد ہے اس ٹائم پاکستان کے جو پرم نیسٹر ہیں so definitely کسی بھی مذہب کو آپ اس طریقے سے ڈسٹریمنیٹ نہیں کر سکتے ہیں مسلمانوں کے ساتھ ظلم یہ ہے کہ they are being marginalized جو ہندوتوہ فلسفی ہے اگر آپ میں تھوڑی سی اسٹری کی ہوگی تو یہ مست نہ ہو وہ اتنی کی خطرناک ہے کہ عام بندہ جو ہے وہ سن کے بڑا ڈر جاتا ہے کہ اگر وہ منارٹی کا ہندو ہے تو وہ بھی ڈر جاتا ہے کہ یا how I can practice as a hindu ہندوتوہ فلسفی بولتی ہے کہ صرف اپر کلاس کو حق حاصل ہے کہ وہ دنیا میں رہے ہیں باقی کو یہ سارے کیڑے ہو کر رہے ہیں such kind of low approach such kind of mentality such kind of sick minded mindset sick mindset that you call yourself a secular state you call yourself the ambassador of democracy you call yourself you know that you are the protector of rights of minority 
and on the other hand side you are working on converting the majority of Muslim Kashmiris to minorities. After the 370-35A abolished here, then the celebrities, the people who are the most popular people, they say that now we will go and buy land there. We will go and buy the Kashmiri girls from Kashmiri girls. So, you should know that it is very easy to say, it is very difficult to say, and then if you are on the basis of religious discrimination, we will do this way, we will give statements, definitely the world might be sleeping, but somehow I believe that we have, as I earlier said, unbreakable relationship with Kashmiris. तो हम जो भी सेंटर उनके लिए जा रहे होते हैं हम हर स्टेटमेंट को बहुत सीरियसली ले रहे होते हैं तो डेफिनेटली डी मुस्लिम्स आप पाकिस्तान एस वेल एस लेट मी डिक्लेयर एंड लेट मी क्लियर टू दे डी हिंदू पाकिस्तानीज दे स्टैंड विद अस एस अ वेरी स्ट्रॉंग नेशन अगेंस्ट दिस हिंदू थ्रोफिलोसफी एं
इट इज जस्ट माई पर्सनल एफर्ट वो आई से कि मैंने जो तेरा मुल्कों में पाकिस्तान में रिप्रेजेंट किया है आई हैव डिफरेंस फ्राम ऑल कंट्रीज आई ट्राई टू कन्विंस दैम मैंने उनको बताया कि जी ये मैटर है फाइनली गो थ्रू दीज वेबसाइट चेक इट आउट दिस इज हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड दिस इज करंट सिचुएशन दिस इज हाउ कश्मीरीज आर बींग ऑफ्रेस हाउ मैनी आर बींग केल्ड हाउ मैनी आर बींग ग्रेट वट इज गोइंग ऑन दीज आर दूनाइटेड नेशन रेजोल्यूशन कुड यू प्लीज मेक मी अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट कैन द सोल्यूशन एंड लेट यू टेल यू डेफिनेटली वेन यू मेड दैम द बॉस्ट एंड दे वेंट थ्रू द लिटरेचर दे वेंट थ्रू द गूगल दे केम विद द ओपिनियन दैट दिस इज हैपनिंग वेरी रॉन्ग the world must realize that it needs to be solved to wo international community is baat pe razi ho gayi ke definitely we stand not with you even we stand with kashmiris we stand you know for the rights of kashmiris so how great to at least hame koshish karni hai sab ne milke har banda agar apni capacity ke mutabik kuch na kuch is tarike se karega तो आप एक इंटरनेशनल प्रेशर क्रिएट करने में कामयाब हो जाएंगे फलस्तीन आज तक जो है वो क्यों बेचारा भुगत रहा है इसलिए कि प्रॉपर वो वाली जो कैंपेन है उसके ऊपर बाकी ममालिक ने काम नहीं किया जो वर्ड डॉक्टर साहब ने यूज किया मुसलमानों ने उसको सीरियस ही नहीं लिया मुसलमान ममालिक जो है वो अपने सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट के अंदर इस हद तक जा चुके हैं कि वहां पर कश्मीरों का फोन हो रहा होता है और वो तमगे बांट रहे होते हैं तो ऐसी सूरत हाल में आपको समझना होगा कि हमें हालात को समझते हुए मेहनत करनी होगी एंड वी हैव पाकिस्तान हैज एंड द कश्मीरीज हैज द बिग एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम ग्रेट इंटेलेक्चुअल्स लाइक यू दैट दे हैव टू मेक दी पीपल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी हैव टू वर्क आउट फॉर थैंक यू सर लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम वरीय क्रेडिबल ना सर माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई सऊदी अरेबिया इज सपोर्टिंग इंडिया बड़ा पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन है मेरे ख्याल में जितने भी प्रोग्राम्स हुए उनके अंदर सबसे ज्यादा यू नो दी मोस्ट आस्क क्वेश्चन मोस्ट आस्क क्वेश्चन इज दिस के सऊदी अरब वही अभी थोड़ी देर पहले मैं बात की कि देखिए पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट और कलेक्टिव इंटरेस्ट और यहाँ पे फिर आ जाके इंटरेस्ट को भी साइड पे कर दें मॉरल ऑप्लिकेशन इखलाकियात एक ऐसी चीज है जो कि आपको किसी की भी नजर में इतना महबूब बना देती है कि वो आपसे पूछते ही नहीं है बाबा तू कितने जाए के रहे कितने रहे तो जो बाबू छा कर मामी छा कर दिया धरा रहता है ठीक वाइल्ड ऑन दी अदर हैंड साइड जो अप्रोच है वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ ऐसी अप्रोच हो जिसके अंदर आप देख रहे हो कि मुझे कहीं से एक ऑर्डर आएगा और मैंने नहीं देखना आगे कौन है कौन नहीं है मैंने उसको फॉलो करना सो अबाउट दी सऊदी अरब और सच कंट्रीज स्पेशली आपने सऊदी अरब का पूछा तो मैं यही बोलूँगा कि फैसले वो करते हैं जिनके पास फैसले करने की पावर होती है डिसाइड वो करते हैं जिनके पास कुछ होता है हम कुछ भी है इकनॉमिकली किस पोजिशन में हैं कैसे हैं We do not need to take the direction whenever we need to fight. जब हम बिल्कुल यहाँ पे आ जाएंगे ना बोलते हैं नाको नाक आ जाएंगे तो then we have to decide. हमने कोई direction नहीं लेनी या decision नहीं लेना कि ट्रम्प साहब आप बता दें क्या करना है right? तो वो बेचारे उनका क्या कहा जा सकता है उनसे हमें कोई एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं है एटलीस्ट ठीक है वी हैव दी यू नो ग्रेट एफिलिएशन विद अवर होली प्लेसेस लेकिन अगर आप सऊदी गवर्नमेंट की बात करें तो उनसे आप क्या एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे जिसकी ना फौज अपनी हो जिसके पास कोई ऐसा ना दिमाग हो वाई डू यू एक्सपेक्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम दे उनको बस ऐसे लाइटली लिया करें ठीक है ना उनको नो नीड टू टेक्स दैम सीरियस जिस हैव दी यू नो बिलीव इन योर ओन फोर्सेज हैव दी ट्रस्ट इन योर ओन इदाराज हैव दी ट्रस्ट इन दोज कंट्रीज हु स्टैंड विद यू वो तुर्की वाला खड़ा हुआ उसने बात की आपके लिए मलेशिया वाले खड़े हुए फाइन चाइना जैसे भी है चाइना का भी हमारे साथ एक ग्रेट इंटरेस्ट है और ग्रेट रिलेशनशिप है सो वी हैव टू सी द वर्ल्ड हैज गॉन इन सच अ वे उनका विचार उनका वो तो देर नॉट टू बी डिस्कस उनसे कोई होप भी ना रखे और उनके लिए दुआ किया करें आप लोग
मैं हेल्थ के लिए लाश काम कर दीजिए Sir, according to you, uh, if we uh, attack on Indian Army, World War III will start. But uh, we, uh, why we are not using our golden coins? Uh, we are able to defeat India in Kashmir by supporting and using useful Mujahideen, as we done in Afghanistan to defeat Russia by using Afghan Mujahideen. Why we are not using our intelligence agency? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> आप ऐसे बड़ी जिहादी अखरों चढ़ते हैं मदद करते हैं मेरे भाई देखिए यू आर वेरी राइट मैंने बोला चाहते थे कि आप थोड़े जो वो पैराडाइम चेंज हुई है ना स्पेशली पिछले पंद्रह अठारह साल से ये नाइन इलेवन सेप्टेम्बर के बाद तो थिंग्स हैव गॉट चेंज और वी ऑल्सो हैव चेंज द स्ट्रेटजीज अकॉर्डिंगली अगर एक काम बगैर गन के हो सकता है हमें नजर आ रहा है कि भाई फिफ्थ जनरेशन वॉरफेयर चल रही है दुश्मन हमें जो है वो सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू माइंडसेट के थ्रू मीडिया के थ्रू जो है वो दुनिया को कन्विंस करने की कोशिश कर रहा है कि हम गलत हैं तो हमें उसको काउंटर जो है वो सेम वे में करना है कभी भी याद रखिए जिस तरीके का अटैक होता है उसी तरीके का ये उससे स्ट्रॉगर काउंटर होता है अगर आपका काउंटर डिफरेंट होगा तो देर आर मोर चांसेस यू विल गेट द डिफीट आपके हारने के चांसेस ज्यादा होंगे तो इस टाइम जो हमारा अटैक है वो फिफ्थ जनरेशन वॉरफेयर के थ्रू है और हमारा जो डिफेंस है इट इज आल्सो इन द सेम वे दुनिया के अंदर जो बड़ी चेंजेस आप देख रहे हैं उनमें बड़ी जो कामयाबियां मिल रही हैं दे आर थ्रू दी डिप्लोमेसी मुख्तलिफ किस्म की डिप्लोमेसी है अब जैसे मैंने आपसे करतारपुर की बात की तो करतारपुर से पूरी दुनिया का जो सिख है दे विल बी कमिंग टू पाकिस्तान फॉर पिलग्रिमेज और हम उनको वेलकम करेंगे हम उनको फैसिलिटेट करेंगे फाइनेंशियली जो हमें बेनिफिट होगा हमारी स्टेट को बेनिफिट होगा वो अपनी जगह पे है इसके साथ साथ डिप्लोमेटिकली जो हमारे रिलेशनशिप बिल्ड होंगे दे आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग 2020 में खालिस्तान रेफरेंडम होने जा रहा है इन इसी तरीके से हिंदुस्तान के अंदर नागालैंड आपने सुना होगा पिछले दिनों बड़ा हाईलाइटेड था आसाम के लोग भी बड़े तमिल टाइगर तो वैसे बड़े मशहूर है इन कामों में सो देर आर गोइंग टू बी मैनी मैनी न्यू नेबर्स यू विल हैव चांस टू विजिट मैनी न्यू कंट्रीज फ्रॉम हिंदुस्तान तो फिक्र ना करें जरूरी नहीं है कि जिहाद के भी तरीके हैं जरूरी नहीं है कि बंदूक से जिहाद किया जाए ये जिहाद बड़ा फास्ट है तो डोंट वरी अल्लाह ताला आपको भी हिम्मत दे हमें भी दे हमारी कौम को भी दे तो कोशिश डेफिनेटली जारी रहेगी चलती रहेगी और हम सब मिल के इन बहुत जल्द देखेंगे कि कश्मीर आज़ाद होगा हम कश्मीरियों के साथ होंगे और दुनिया ये इन खुशी जल्द जो है वो मौसू करेगी पाकिस्तान